Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn the switch widget in Flutter. And also we are going to handle the state of the switch when they are in the list view. Right. And before uh, diving into our topics, if you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on upcoming videos. And before go di directly going into the coding section, let's see how our final applications will look. This is how our final application will going to look and we have the app bar and we have the list of switches and they have the different states as you can see here they are in the list and the index 0 item is uh, checked and other is unchecked and other is checked they, that means they are on and other are off right now let's move into the coding section uh, if you haven't uh, created the project please pause the video and you can follow the link above in the description to create the project in PS code and if you have already created, let's move on. And first, we are going to create the new file named homepage.dart. Dart, and it is going to be the stateful widget. And I will name it homepage. Now we don't need this imports. Import material dart. As you can see here, I have uh, the boilerplate created with the short code. When you press st and space you will have the list of options and i selected the stateful widget as i need stateful widget when creating uh, stateless widget you can use the stateless widget as shown in this uh, drop down right i have already created so let's ignore it now we return you can follow this method as it is uh, easier and uh, time saving and scaffold 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 is the screen of the application and the screen of the mobile mobile and the emulator as you can see here this is the scaffold and then we give the app bar our app bar will be any text title title of text let's say switch example let's put const here it is a const, uh, constant constructor so and then we import this home page in the main.dart file import dot slash home page dot dart and then in this our robot we home page and then we don't need this let's remove this class And then when you reload it, we can see the app bar switch example. Now let's create the switch first and I will name it switch underscore item dot dot and it is also going to be stateful widget st space and then you will have the list of options then stateful widget and then it will be switch items and then let's import the material import material from the plotter package and then we return the list style and our title will be from let's say text title and subtitle from text show this and first now let's say not selected and trialing switch and on changed text value for now let's leave it empty and then value let's say for now false and then active color and our active color will be color star green as you can see here in this we have the active color is uh, this is green and we have the selected and on not selected and this is the subtitle 
and then our title this is the title right now we import this switch item in the home base import dot slash this item dot dot and uh, in the body switch switch items and then when we reload it we can see the title yeah, like here title and the other is not selected and we have the switch and its value is false now we are going to uh, change the state of this switch when we click this switch for that uh, let's create the boolean value boolean is selected equals false false it will be false and then this value would be is selected and then on change we are going to change the state of this boolean value means that is state then we are going to change the value that means is selected equals opposite of is selected that means when it is true it is going to be false and when it is false it is going to be true now when we again reload it and then when we change we can see it is turning on and off and we have we can see the active color is green you can see here now we are going to uh, handle the state in the list of the uh, switches for that in the home base we are going to create the list view that builder and then it takes context and index Written, written our switch items and let's keep the item count our item count equals I will keep 10 and string grab 2 and again when we reload it we can see the list of uh, tiles you can see the list of tiles and we can uh, select them individually now as in this image we have this uh, subtitle that is selected and when it is not selected it is not selected now we are going to perform this action and also you can see here we have the titles of index as you can see title 0 1 2 3 now we are also going to change the title of this switch for that we are going to pass the title and for that we are going to pass the index of this switch index and then in switch item final int index And then this dot index. And this would be not empty. And then in the title, the dollar index. And it is not cost. It should be widget dot index bracket now we can see the title 0 1 2 in this uh, list right you can see here title 0 1 2 3 4 and we have the different switches working differently 
and then this subtitle needs to be changed for that when it is left here selected we are going to say text selected else it is not selected const here and it is also the const and then when we reload it again we have we, we can see this selected and others are not selected when when you close it and we can see it is not selected now it is like here we have the uh, background color green when it is selected now let's implement that now in the list tile we are going to change the color of the tile tile color when it is selected we are going to give the color is green and else color start white that means when our uh, switch is on our color will be green tile color will be green otherwise it will be white now when you reload it again we can see that our uh, selected uh, color is green and uh, unchecked item is false as you can see our uh, checkbox is not showing switch is not showing nicely so let's remove the active color uh, to orange for now when selected our active color will be orange of the switch right we have the orange color of the switch and we have our tile color changing and they are be behaving differently right this was for today uh, if you like this video please uh, don't forget to like comment and uh, share it with your friends and if you have any queries regarding this video, please mention me or ping me on the comment or you can mail me at part.thousand.gmail.com If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And see you next week. Thank you.